So here we're going to introduce the three and six-fold roto inversion operations. The three-fold roto inversion would be symbolized as a bar three, and this fellow would be symbolized as a bar six. These are a variation on the theme of three-fold rotation and six-fold. So for a three-fold rotational axis, we would have a 120-degree rotation. In this case, we're not going to stop there. We're going to add an inversion after the rotation. And then for the six-fold, we have a 60-degree rotation. So let's take the three-fold first, the bar three, using this very nice diagram in the textbook by Bloss. So here we start with A1. That's our first motif. Our motif is a hand. In this case, it looks to be a left hand. And we're going to rotate this fellow 120 degrees in the counterclockwise direction. Now, we don't get this A5 here. That's going to come out later. The A2, what we get after the A1, is at only after we both rotate and invert through the inversion point there. And when we do that, then we get A2 over here. Then for the next fellow, we're going to take A2, rotate it 120 degrees. We don't have to get this guy. The A6 will come out later. We're going to invert it through that inversion point I, and then we get A3 here. Uh, if we continue rotating in a counterclockwise direction, we would uh, rotate this fellow again and then end up with the A4. And I'm going to let you guys finish this off. When you uh, look at all the operations in sum, we'll get all six of the, these motifs, no more and no less. Now, instead of a hand in crystallography and mineralogy, we are dealing with atoms or molecular clusters. But with the handedness, it's a little bit easier to see how the inversion point I changes the handedness uh, every time we go through that uh, inversion I, we get an enantiomorphic pair. So same concept here with the bar six. Uh, we're gonna start with a one, rotate at 360 degrees. Notice that that's gonna take us to this blank panel here. Uh, that would be where our imaginary hand would take a momentary rest stop, but we're not done. We would invert that fellow through this inversion point here to get a two. Uh, and in this case, we're rotating uh, clockwise. So if we rotate uh, clockwise here, we'd come out to this panel that's in front. Uh, we would have something that is momentarily in this position, but then would project up through to give us a three. And we can continue that to get all six of these motifs. Notice that we get six motifs in both of these cases, both the bar three and the bar six, but we generate them in a slightly different way. So in these instruction sets, bar three or bar six, when we give you that kind of instruction, when anybody gives you that kind of instruction, that it means you're gonna create these kinds of patterns in this kind of order, whether it's a set of hands or some other kind of motif or more likely, more commonly in mineralogy and, and uh, crystallography, atoms or atomic clusters.